Hi, this is Quantum Mat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you one of the scripts I created. And I think it can be interesting for people who uh, trades a lot and hope to meet a lot of strategies for a lot of symbols from trading view. Um, so it's sort of like a screener that actually allows you to automate multiple symbols from one uh, script. And let me explain you what I mean by that. Um, so let me um, stop probably my alerts for now, just not to overwhelm um, my chart. So here is the screener. And um, for this example, I did it very, very simple. So I'm just display symbol, price, moving average, and whenever uh, price um, crosses uh, moving average, um, you receive short or long signal. But what's interesting is what I do inside the screen of this um, information. So I just kind of collect these uh, short and long signals. Um, you know, these are highlighted ones. And then I separate them and I send them one by one to a tool that actually trades for me. And I can show it to you how I do that. It is quite, quite simple. So um, here's the logic of the screener. And um, one purpose here, for just for simplicity, I limited the screener to 10 instruments, but actually there is nothing uh, limiting you to use 40 um, as, as the trading view limit for security calls are 40. And um, in the screener, so this is pretty similar to my like, like uh, multiple indicator screener that I have um, already published it on trading view. What's different is that how I do this uh, with the orders. So I create here kind of another order array and I assign it empty for now. For, and in the uh, in the screener, when I go through it, at actually the bar is last. What what I do is that I, um, if signal is long, I will add a kind of composed uh, order in JSON format for a third party tool to execute. Um, so as you can see, it's like a JSON object. I provide the ticker from my screener. I provide an action buy or sell, depend on the value of my um, average signal. And also I have some additional information here. For example, I attach price. So potentially you can do this like as an limit order if you want. And also I provide time here as well. So when I after, after I create this um, like array with these orders, um, uh, later I check that it's if it's bar is confirmed uh, the bar so it's basically the last update for the bar I go through this uh, like our order array and I pop a kind of values one by one and I send them as separate alerts so what's happening is that so for what what what, what this allows us to do is that if you have like standard system I'm using kind of like um, trader post, for example, you can automate multiple instruments at the same time. So um, as you can see, here are some of examples of my alerts. So what um, we can see that, for example, at 1752, we actually had um, three symbols receiving kind of an alerts, two sell alerts and one buy alert. And actually we received this at the same time. As you can see, it's time time, three separate alerts. And uh, we receive them um, kind of in a nice format that allows our system to understand that. And um, if we'll go to our, like this is a trader's post and I'm not affiliated, just using it for an example. If we'll update it, we'll see that we have here multiple and multiple orders for like all 10 um, instruments I have in, uh, in this screener. And actually they come only from this kind of one alert. So as you can see, it works pretty fine. So it managed to understand all uh, the orders from uh, my screener. So it seems um, to work pretty well. So now let's speak a bit about uh, kind of um, limitations and issues of this approach. So it's all kind of looks cool, but there are few issues. The first one is that trading actually has limitations on amount of alerts you can send in uh, I think it's like 15 alerts in like three minutes. And if you send more, your alert will be stopped out. So um, it, it definitely won't work if you have very frequent trading. For example, here I'm using one minute bar just to kind of show that it actually works. 
fine. But for example, even on like for 10 symbols on one in bar, I was topped out a few times easily. So how to solve that? So um, I think using kind of higher time frames, uh, obviously. And also maybe in the code, you can write like um, a small, like a piece of code that will check that you have more than 15 alerts in three minutes, probably it will delay some of the alerts to send them after. Of course, you will miss your prices, but it's, at least you will be able to avoid um, this kind of training your limitation. Another one that I found is that actually we receive here um, sometimes kind of alerts um, at the same, um, in the same site and we should not suppose to get them. So here, for example, here's one of the example. Here we have a Dodge BTC uh, long alert. And after that, here you can see in one minute, we have another one. So it shouldn't supposed to work based on the logic of my script because it just goes long or short. So after long, we should see short. And I think this is happening because um, we, um, we kind of run these alerts at uh, bar third is confirmed for our kind of parent um, symbol uh, BTC USDT, but because we get data from four other uh, ten other um, instruments, it just has no time to get everything. And sometimes, like uh, the the order we get of and the it's not based on the kind of like a real closing price of like one minute time frame, my example. And sometimes we can get the data for like, um, I don't know, like one, two seconds before the close. So of course, um, in on like, if you go to higher time frames, that might not bother you so much and you won't see so many issues like that. But you need to understand that actually what you're getting here is not you know completely true so sometimes you might have a bit of discrepancy between what between what you see on trading here and what you see in your orders so always just uh, be prepared to check that i think otherwise i think it's pretty kind of interesting approach that um, should allow you to kind of um, easier to work with alerts and trading because i saw some of um uh, some traders that basically have like thousands of alerts created in TradingView and it's really, really big pain for them to manage them. So if you do, for example, something on like daily time frame, on hourly time frame, I think it should be a pretty good idea for you. And uh, myself, I will continue to explore kind of this uh, demo script and um, will uh, try it to, um, you know, update you as soon as I have kind of better results. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next one.